Welcome back. Today we're going to answer a viewer's question about the wave spawning system that we have. I'll link the video going over that up above. In this case, they wanted to have a little bit more control over how many enemies of each different type could spawn. And in order to do so, we had to modify the script. So let's dive right into it. So the original wave spawner script worked as follows. We have a wave game object that has an array of the enemies in the wave, time in between spawning, and the number to spawn. And then in our wave spawner script, we had some variables initialized. These are straightforward, an array of spawn points, an array of waves, and stuff to track which current one we're on. We have a timer in our update loop that spawns our current wave and then increments our wave to the next wave. And then this will fire every time before waves. So if our second wave is set to happen 10 seconds after the first wave, in 10 seconds it'll happen. Spawn wave function just goes through a loop for however many times we set our number to spawn. Spawns a random enemy at a random location inside of this right here. And then our increment wave just increases the number of waves until we're on the last wave. And then it sets stop spawning to true, which makes us no longer spawn. So let's go over how we modify this. First, in our wave game object, our scriptable object, we need to change our array of enemies to spawn into enemy types. What this means is the one in the first slot, so at index 0, will be the first type of enemy to spawn. Index 1 will be the second type, and so on and so forth. This can vary between waves, so in your first wave, maybe you only spawn one type of enemy. In your fifth wave, maybe you spawn five different types of enemies. You have your time before this wave. This works exactly the same as in the old system. This will just be the time between waves. And then we have a, an array, instead of just a float, of number of types to spawn. So these will correspond to the same array of enemy types. So in our zero slot of our number of types to spawn array will be how many enemy type zero we want to spawn, and so on and so forth. Our wave spawner script is mostly the same as well. All the variables at the top, all of this is the same. The only difference is in our spawn wave function and our spawn enemy type function, which is the new function we added for this. So instead of doing a for loop, we're going to do a for each loop. And this is going to say for each enemy type in our enemy types array, we're going to spawn enemy type feeding i, which is our index. I starts off at zero, so the first time this loop happens, we're going to be looking at enemy type at index zero. Then each time it goes through, for however many enemy types we have, this variable will increase by one. In spawn enemy type, we are going to first make sure that there is an enemy type at that index. This is just a safety check. Then we're going to have a for loop, which is going to, for each number of types to spawn at that same index, so again, remember, if number of types to spawn at index 0 for the first enemy type is 3, this code will happen 3 times, and it will spawn at a random location our first enemy 3 times, because this happens 3 times. Then we increment our wave as normal. Let's look at how we got this set up in Unity. So our scriptable objects now look like this. Wave 1 has an array of enemies, in this case SO enemy 1 is my enemy type three seconds before this wave starts spawning, and there will be four enemies that spawn. So if I hit play, and we wait three seconds, our enemies spawn in. For the purpose of this example, I'm just using bushes. They don't have any code or anything, they're just static images. But you can see, over here is, I have four of them. So four enemies of type one spawned. Now let's look at our wave two. Our wave two has two types of enemies, our bush enemy and our head enemy. Our head enemy is gonna look like this head right here. And it should spawn one bush and three heads. So I'm gonna unpause in five seconds from when this bush spawned. So probably in a couple. There we go. We've got three heads located right here and one extra bush spawn. You can see that there are five bushes now. I hope you found this video interesting. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you in the next one.